Okay, part three of the complex is jumping. Let's get toe to heel. We'll start with the right foot in the front. Make sure that your heel is centered on the beam. Back heel, Lily, a little more centered. There we go. Okay, that helps square the hips. Ready and go. Jump full extension, plie and hold. When you're in the plie, your back heel should be down as well as your front heel. Now you're gonna evenly jump out of two feet and evenly land on two feet. Ready and go. And go. Yeah, try to get as high as you can and go. One last time. And then switch and put the other foot in the front and do the same exercise. Very good, and again. And keep challenging them to get higher and higher. All right, next we're gonna go to punches. Arms are all the way up. Hips are flat, ribs are in, high releve, lock knees, and punch all the way down. Keep your chin up, looking at the end of the beam. Ribs in, and backwards. And stop right there. And onto our turns, passe position. Arms in crown, low shoulders. And I want you to watch the feet. Quarter turn, lift the heel. That was good. Quarter turn, lift the heel. Quarter turn, good job. And quarter turn. Now let's go to half turn. Ready and half. Ready and half. Pushing down on the ball of the foot, using the heel for rotation. Half turn, use the heel. There you go. Keep your foot connected so your hips are tight. And half turn. Very good, okay. All right, next we're gonna go over to the trampoline and we're gonna start on our actual jumps on beam. So we're gonna get ready for everything in straddle, which we haven't done anything uh, so far. So we're gonna do kick front, bend your standing leg, other leg kick, and jump. Straddle and come down. That's the position that they wanna be in with their shoulders on top of their hips. Ready and kick, kick, jump. And now to the panel mats. Ready and kick, kick, jump. One last time. And kick, kick, jump. Okay, to the beam. Now we're gonna work a lot, as you notice, on jumping jack arms. So we're gonna start with our arms out to the side, slightly above horizontal. They will drop as the legs plie, and then everything opens up to the middle of the jumping jack. And go, down, up, and turn back, should not be coming off the beam. Ready, and tight core, down, up. Much better, ready, last one. And down, up. Nice, quarter turn, now we go right to half turns. Watch the jumping jack arms, and go, down, up. Again, make sure that when they spot, that they spot a distance in front or to the end of the beam not right down by their feet because then they get in a pike shape. Ready, down, up. Okay, landing a little bit more on the toes, Lily. Ready, last one, and go, down, up. Stay there, stay there. Whether on the low beam, obviously, or the high beam or a laser beam, stay on the beam. Okay, all right, now we're gonna add um, the uh, straddle jump. These can be straddle jumps or split jumps. So we do the same thing. Now I want you to watch for the takeoff. So we're gonna do the same plie, arms drop straight down to the side. Ready and go. Okay, there's too much pike. All right, let's do it again. And the reason that the pike starts to happen is because we're using arm circles instead of jumping jacks. Feel your body go down, straight up through the jumping jack and go. Better, Quinn. Lily, still more jumping jack arms. All right, let's turn and try it again. Right now, when I'm all the way up, ready and go. All the way up. Okay, a little bit better. Last one. Tight, quick arms up, down. All the way up. Ready and go. 
Okay, much better. All right, now you can add on to all of this based on what level of skills your group does, but we're gonna go on to the acro part. Um, Quinn, you can take over this part and we'll start with handstand step-ins, okay? Arms are up, mountain climber, very important shape to start with. And handstand, small split at the top, and step in, shoulders down. When the shoulders are down, it means you have pushed off the beam. All right, let's go again. Mountain climber, and small split at the top, and hips under. I love the way the shoulders are down. Of course, do these on both sides. Okay, let's go on to cartwheels. Okay, I wanna see the hips turn right at the top. Ready, mountain climber, and Good, let's see him turn a little bit sharper at the top, be patient. Get up there, small split, and there was a much better quarter turn. All right, now we go to our walkovers. We do back walkover, toe to heel on the landing. Do that one more time, Quinn. Don't uh, close all the way. I want you to watch her hips square because she brings her top leg. Yeah, it's better, keep it, keep it. Okay, now to a front walk over. Toe to heel, toe to heel, back walk over. Toe to heel, and front walk over. Very nice. Okay, now let's go on to the back handsprings. One, low arm, shoulders down. And go. Little too big of a split. Okay, walk forward and connect two. Jump out of two feet. You can see her left leg drops down way too much instead of bringing it up like a two foot. Now three. Keeping your eyes down on the beam, shoulders low. Okay, now a two foot back handspring to a rebound. Land toe to heel. Nice. One more time, turn around. And go. Very nice job. Now from Depending on the level, you could also include your side aerials and your front aerials into your acro. Just remember when creating your complex, start with ankle strength first, then get into your jumps, your leaps, your turns, your acro, and make sure that you have covered all parts of your beam complex. Thanks, Tammy Biggs, for all of your insight.